who is a friend of Allah? Who is a friend of Allah? Like people think, is it the one who is able to fly in the sky? He said, no, that's not necessarily the friend of Allah. Is he the one that is able to swiftly walk over water? He said, no, that is not necessarily the friend of Allah. Then he said, Is he the one who uncontrollably cries in prayer? No. Then he said, Then who is the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It is that person who you find him fulfilling the orders of Allah and staying away from the prohibitions of Allah. That is a friend of Allah. He may not be able to break down crying when he leads salah. He may not have the most beautiful voice. He definitely may not be flying around and walking on water. He may not be doing any miracles. Very simple, mundane, normal life. But if he fulfills or she fulfills the orders of Allah and stays away from haram, that which has been prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, know very well that you are meeting and speaking to a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu said, Ihfadillah ya'fadq. If you protect the orders of Allah, Allah will come to your protection. In this day and age, when we're all suffering from this anxiety and fear of the future, anxiety and fear of what the future holds, whether it's the political process of this country, whether it's the education of your children, whether it's your next paycheck, your loans that you have to pay off. Fear, fear, fear. We need a hand. We need a shoulder. We need friends to give us comfort. My brothers and sisters, give Allah a try. Give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a try and see what a beautiful protector. Ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir. The best of caretakers and the best of assistants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I'm the best of caretakers. You're never gonna find a better caretaker than me. You're never gonna find a better help than me. But this is the deal. Ihfadillah. You fulfill my orders and I got your back. Brothers and sisters, what are, the, what are the things that we can protect that Allah will then protect us? Number one, quickly, four things. Allah says in the Quran, Hafidhu, same word of hifd I'm using. Hafidhu ala salawati was salatil wusta. Protect the salah, protect the obligation of salah and especially the middle salah of salat al-asr which becomes the most difficult. Look in our masjids, salat al-asr will have the least number, correct? Salat al-asr will have the least number of people. So protect, all, make sure you ensure you fulfill all the salahs and salat al-asr. Number one, that's something. Number two, I'm using four statements of the Prophet in the Quran in which hifz has been used, hifadah. First one was hafidhu ala salah, protect your salah. Number two, the Prophet said in hadith related by Ibn Majah that only a mu'min will protect and preserve his wudu. So a mu'min, when he leaves his masjid, he's in wudu. When he leaves his house, he's in state of wudu. When he gets out of office, he's in state of wudu. Even though it's not a time of a prayer. But he says, what happens? Allah forbid, if my car breaks down, I gotta pray. So I have to be in the state of wudu. Always he tries to stay in state of wudu. This is the sign of iman. Number three, the Prophet said, that aymanakum. I read the Surah Ma'idah, the Quran says, protect your promises and oaths. Preserve your promises and oaths. This is the third thing that we are told that this is a sign of Iman. Protect your salah, your wudu, and your promises and oaths. And lastly, protect the head and whatever's around it, whatever is encompassing the eyes, the ears, the tongue. And protect the stomach and whatever's around that, the heart on top and the private parts, and of course the stomach itself. Meaning, make sure we don't eat haram, we don't look at haram, we don't listen haram, we don't speak haram, we do not, we make sure our private parts are protected and remain chaste. That is iman. If we can protect this last thing, what we said, our organs and limbs, number one, and the other one, three were what? Salah, wudu, and our promises. This is inshallah guaranteeing us the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I pray to Almighty Allah that He grants all of us complete conviction in every verse of the Quran, every true hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us His protection, allow us to remain under His protection, grant us security and a sense of security and peace, remove all our anxieties and worries. Mm -hmm.